Alright, what's up everybody? We're back with another edition of Everyday Hoops. Hope you guys are having a good one. Today we're going to be talking about last night's Game 4 of the Western Conference Finals. The Minnesota Timberwolves come out and avoid the sweep. They win Game 4 in Dallas to make it a 3-1 series. We're talk all about last night's game here in today's video. Thank you guys for the views on the videos and the shorts recently. I really appreciate it. If you do like the content around here, consider subscribing like turn notifications do all stuff like that i'd really appreciate it it really upset a lot uh join the membership if you want to learn more about the membership there's a video on my channel explaining all of it you can go back and watch that link to my twitter tiktok stuff like that description down below and uh yeah don't waste any more of your time let's get right into it so yeah game five of the western conference finals last night in dallas the mavericks with the win would sweep the tim and move on to the finals the tim Wolves trying to do everything in their power to keep the, their series or their season alive um looking early in the first quarter Anthony Edwards, very aggressive first quarter, 14 points, got to the free throw line, 5 for 8 from the free throw line. Um, good quarter from Minnesota, shot 10 for 16 from the field. They shot Anthony Edwards was 4 for 7. Um, the starting lineup was really, really good scoring-wise. Got to the free throw line 10 times. Uh, and the defense as well. There's a lot of intensity, like very similar to what we saw in the Denver series and the Phoenix series, a lot more defensive intensity, a lot more pressure. They're putting on Luka and Kyrie. They also made a defensive adjustment early, putting Anthony Edwards on Luka and putting Jade McDaniels on Kyrie. Kind of saying, you know what, Luka's going to do his thing, but we're going to stop try to stop Kyrie because Kyrie really is what puts the cherry on top with this team. And yeah, Minnesota came out aggressive in the first quarter, got to the, the rim as well, especially without Derek Lively in this game. You know, with Dwight Powell, Max Kleba, makes it a lot easier to get to the rim and score than when Derek, Derek Lively's down there. Out of their 16 shots, they took only four or threes. So they took 12 shots that were not three-pointers, and they got to the free throw line 10 times, and they won the rebounding battle 14-7. to A really good first quarter from Minnesota for Dallas. Luka had 10 points on three free shooting, but no one else really did much. Uh, Josh Green did hit a three early, so did Jaden Hardy. Kyrie was one for five. P.J. Washington was 0 for three in the first quarter, but I like the intensity Minnesota came out with. Then we go to the second quarter. They start the quarter really well, but then the last couple of minutes where I feel like Minnesota should have dominated this quarter should be but should have been up by double digits going into halftime. Dallas came out in the second quarter and brought the game back. And a lot of it was on Minnesota. Uh bad turnovers, bad fouls. Timberwolves had eight fouls in the quarter. Maverick shot ten free throws in the second quarter, were nine for ten from the free throw line. And Minnesota lost that intensity. You know, they didn't foul but Cat had three fouls in the first half. You know, only played fifteen minutes, only played five minutes in the second quarter. Anthony Edwards. Had three fouls in the first half and only played six minutes in the second quarter. Mike Conley had, what, oh, they only had one foul. Uh, with Gobert had three fouls in the first half. So your top three players all had three fouls in the first half. And there's a lineup out there with no ant and no cat on the court at one point. And I think, right, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I want to say, well, at least Anthony Edwards didn't play the last couple minutes of the second quarter. I know that. And Dallas came out had a good second quarter. You know, Luke had seven. Derek Jones Jr. hit two three-pointers. You know, Dante Exum came in, provided some energy with five points. Kleber hit a shot. Uh, Kyrie had four points. Gaffer had a shot. Maverick shot eight for 17, four for nine from three, nine for 10 for the free throw line. But Minnesota was just seven for 20, 35% from the field, and three for eight from three, and only five free throw attempts. So Dallas came out in the second quarter, brought this game back. At halftime, it was a tie game. When it felt like Minnesota was dominating most of the half, it was a tie game because Dallas... At the end of that second quarter, last couple minutes of that second quarter, they came out, put on a good run. The bench, almost everybody besides Dwight Powell on the bench scored for Dallas, which is a big thing. You know, Exum had five, Green had five, Hardy hit a three, Kleber hit a shot in the first half, Luka had 17 in the first half, and it was a tie game. We get to the third quarter, and it was a good third quarter. You know, Minnesota came out with intensity again. Um, they shot 63% from the field. 12 for 19, 4 for 7 from 3. Confini Towns started to get it going. 10 points, 4 for 4 from the field in the third quarter. He was great. Jaden McDaniels had a couple shots in that third quarter. Anthony Edwards had 6 points and 6 assists as well. And Nikki Alexander Walker hit a big 3-pointer. It felt like Dallas, this was a point to Dallas to take the lead. And they did early. But then they kind of slowed down late. Luka only had 4 points. Kyrie had was 1 for 3 in that quarter. You know They combined for 8 points on 3 for 6 shooting in that third quarter. Uh, Jaden Hardy was a big energy boost in that late in that third quarter. He had seven points. Gafford had six points and four rebounds as well. P.J. Washington hit a three-pointer. Dallas was 10 for 20, only three for nine from three. 
And both teams weren't really aggressive. Minnesota was one for two from the free throw line. Dallas was one for one. Dallas won the rebounding battle. Then nine to eight. Both teams had four turnovers. Both teams had five fouls. It was a very even, you know, third quarter, but Minnesota won the quarter. Um, thanks to Anthony Towns having ten and Jay McDaniels having eight, it felt like. And then we go to the fourth quarter. And it just felt like Dallas was gonna take was gonna run away with it at some point. It felt like Dallas it was setting up for Dallas to kind of take this game over in the fourth quarter. You know, and they did take a lead at one point. You know, it was it was very back and forth. They did take a lead at one point where oh, I'm looking at right now. Yeah, P.J. Wash hit a three-pointer tie the game. They came down. P.J. Wash hit another layup, and then Kyrie had a layup. It was a one-point lead. But dissimilar, not similar to the first three games, every time Dallas made a shot in the fourth quarter, Minnesota responded. Anthony Towns was amazing in this fourth quarter. Ten points, three for four from three. He had a lot of timely threes as well. Rudy Gobert had eight points in the quarter. Um, Anthony Edwards had six, five, and three in the fourth quarter as well. Minnesota shot 52% from the field, 60% from three. You know, they did miss four free throws in the fourth quarter, and they got away with it. You know, they did miss the free throws, and they lost the rebounding battle. But Minnesota just had timely shots. And Dallas, Luke, and Kyrie combined for four for 12 shooting and one for six and three in the fourth quarter with 13 points. So, like, they, they rare, both had a rare, bad closeout. You know, P.J. Washington was one for four. He did hit a big three, but nothing else besides that. Derrick Jones was two points. Gafford at four. You know, Minnesota shot, I mean, Dallas shot three for 12 from three in the fourth quarter. Felt like they were selling for a lot of threes in this fourth quarter as well. They are trying to end it on threes. And I don't know, I just felt like getting, getting to the rim. Like, there's a play where Derrick Jones Jr. got to the rim and made a dump off to Daniel Gafford for a dunk. I felt like they should have done that a lot more. But they didn't really attack the paint as much as I feel like they should have. And then Anthony Edwards hit a couple big shots in that fourth quarter. That mid-range to kind of seal the game was big. Luka did come down, hit a crazy three-pointer, and got fouled on it, but he missed the free throw, and then now he's re-hit the layup, and then from then on, the Mavericks just couldn't score. But Minnesota ends up getting the win 105 to 100. Uh, Minnesota shot 58% from the field, 58% from three in the second half, while Dallas shot 46% from the field and 28% from three in the second half. Um, overall, in the entire game, Anthony Edwards 29-10-9 on limb for 25 shooting. He started off great and ended the game off great. But Carl Anthony Towns, getting Carl Anthony Towns involved and getting him going was huge. 25 points, 9 for 13 from 3, 4 for 5 from 3. He did foul out in this game, which that's a big thing. Carl Anthony Towns is just, he he just is going to pick up fouls in this game. And, and is I guess that's just what it is. Carl Anthony Towns is just going to pick up some bad fouls. Out of the six fouls, I feel like probably four of them were just fouls that he didn't really need to pick up. He could have easily avoided. But, I mean, they got away with it. You know, he has six. Edwards and Gobert both had five fouls as well, but both of those guys stayed in the game. Mike Conley had 14 and 7 with four steals. James McDaniels had 10 points in this game. Minnesota shot 52% from the field, 45% from three in this game. 11 for 24. They did get away with missing nine free throws in this game. They won the rebounding battle 40 to 38, even though they lost the offensive rebounding battle. Um, yeah, like Minnesota came out and was just a lot more aggressive. Especially on the defensive end, they brought a lot more intensity. And then getting your two star players to show up, Ant and Cat, is huge. I mean, for Dallas, uh, tough shooting day from three, especially in the second half. They shot, what, like 28% from three in the second half. Um, Kyrie had, an, had a bad game, 16.6 for 18. Luka, 7 for 21 shooting from the field, 28, 15, and 10. Um, PJ Washington was 2 for 9 from three, 3 for 13 from the field. So, yeah, it's tough, especially when you get a bench performance where. Jane Hardy has 13 points. Everyone on the bench contributed in, in a way. He got he only missed three free throws, 18 for 21 from the free throw line. You get 10 offensive rebounds, yet you lose this game because Kyrie and Luka both had bad shooting nights. They combined to shoot, what, 13 for 39 and 5 for 17 from three with seven turnovers. So, yeah, that's a rare, bad Luka-Kyrie performance in this series. Both, both those guys have been superhuman in this series, and they just couldn't close it out. A rare game where they just could not close it out. You know, they missed a lot of easy shots. Kyrie missed a lot of shots in the quarter. Uh, Luka missed a lot of step-back threes and stuff in the fourth quarter, and Minnesota was just converting. You know, Minnesota was converting, so you got to get credit to Minnesota. They live to survive another day. You know, now we go to game five. We'll see what happens in Minnesota. Um, if the, at this point for Minnesota, it's just about playing with confidence and playing with heart at this point. Like, you're expected to lose. You're going to lose most likely this series. No one has ever come back for down 3-0, but at this point, it's just about staying together, being confident, coming out, and just, yeah, playing 
as hard as you can. And that's what Minnesota did, especially from the get-go. They came out with intensity early, especially on the defensive end, and just played with their hearts hard in the line, and they were able to get a win because they shot well from the field, they closed out in the fourth quarter, hit big shots in the fourth quarter, and they played some good defense. And that's all you can really ask of the Minnesota Timberwolves at this point, especially with Anthony Towns, especially with the first three games of the series. He was horrible. And to come out and have a big game like this, especially in the fourth quarter where he hit like three very timely three-pointers, that, that's just big. And Anthony Edwards hitting the big shots as well to seal this game was huge as well. So, yeah, we'll see what happens next game in game five. Um, I'm assuming maybe Dallas comes out with a lot more intensity in game five. Not having Derek Lively was huge as well. You could definitely see that, especially early in this game where once Gaffer came out and Max Kleber, Dwight Power in the game, Minnesota was just blitzing Luka, Kyrie, and just forcing Daniel Gaff or forcing Maxi Cleveland and Dwight Powell to go make plays, and those guys can't make the plays like Derek Lively can make. So that that's a big thing. If they get Derek Lively back, that's going to be huge. Obviously, he's been a very, very important player, obviously, to this Mavericks team. But I'm very excited for Game 5. At least we don't get two sweeps. At least we don't have eight days of no basketball. You know, at least we get another game of this series. You know, prolong this a little bit more. We'll see how much Minnesota can prolong the series, though. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you do like the content around here, consider subscribing, like, turn notifications, do all stuff like that. I'd really appreciate it. Really upset a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.